Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty's Side. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, we got a little story here. A little story time. Might be kind of a longer video, but uh, be sure to check it out. Here we go. Today, my whole life could change. Okay. And I'm scared. Okay, sure. Friday night, I started having a burning sensation whenever I peed. <sighs> Uh, was not pleasant. So no. <laughs> Saturday, I went to urgent care, sure. and they put me on medication for a UTI. Oh. So I started the UTI medication on Sunday, and then that night, I noticed that my right lymph node in my groin was swollen. Ew. By Monday... Hold on, hold on. There's lymph nodes in your groins? In your, in your groins? <laughs> Plural. Multiple groins. No. There's, I didn't know there were lymph nodes in the groin. <laughs> News to me. The UTI meds still haven't kicked in. It okay. still really hurt whenever I peed. Uh -huh. um, so I called to make an appointment with my gyno. And it's now Wednesday. My appointment's in like half an hour. <sighs> this subject is very stigmatized. has a lot of shame around it. Well, yeah. But... Then I noticed warts on my genitals. Oh, very, no. <laughs> very painful. Oh, These shit. last few days, I just felt run down, icky, mm -hmm. haven't had an appetite. Yeah, I bet. Uncomfortable. Uh -huh. It hurts to walk. Yeah. It hurts to sit. It Everything hurts. I'm scared. I'm scared. If I it's bet. herpes, I know it's not the end of the world. I'm about to go to my still sucks. now, so I will come back with an update. Oh, oh, oh no. Uh -oh. I have herpes. Oh, oh no. She got the herpaderps. Oh no. Well, I wonder how you got that, lady. I wonder how you got herpes. Hmm. Take a guess, guys. <laughs> Why do you think she got the herpaderps? Well, I mean, if you're having unprotected sex, you should be telling them, like, I haven't been tested. I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. You know, risks. Are, are Have you been tested? Are you clean? Or maybe just not have unprotected sex. Did you ever think about that? No. No, we don't think about those things in this world. I don't know how this is going to affect my dating life. I can't give birth vaginally if I have an outbreak. Ooh, really? Ooh. Yeah. Didn't think about those things, did you? Yeah. Just thought about having the fun in the moment, banging Chad. Didn't think about that thing. No, there don't, no consequences ever, right? Everything's going to be just fine and dandy forever. I don't know. I don't fucking know how I'm supposed to tell my parents this. Uh, you tell them, well, I was hoeing around and I caught something. It's also just fucking painful. And I'm yeah. going to have these outbreaks for the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is what you get when you don't take responsibility and accountability. When you don't act like a fucking adult. Jesus Christ. It's not that hard to throw a condom on. Every fucking store has a condom. Jesus. Or just, how about you don't go out and just bang anybody you meet on the street. I feel like my parents are going to be so disappointed in me. They pro Yeah, probably. Yeah. They have every right to be, too. I just... I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I know. <laughs> so there's a second part to this. Let me... Uh, give me one sec and we'll bring it up. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah. And if... Okay. I, like, tell my sexual partner, like... I have herpes, that's their call, whether they want to have unprotected sex or not. <laughs> like, what if I oh. never have babies because nobody wants to give me their seed now? <laughs> <laughs> nice way of putting it. Well, I mean, yeah, again, you didn't think about this. You didn't... Oh, God. And, you know, I'm not... 
I'm not going to put it on just women here because uh, a lot of guys do the same thing. They just you you guys get so fucking horny and you stick your dick in anything. And th- this is part of what happens, man, when you just go around and just fuck whatever, you know. And but again, she didn't. She wasn't thinking. She didn't think long term because it's like most women, pretty much all of them, they think five fucking seconds in front of their face they're going with what feels good right now she feels so empowered and strong now she's got herpaderps I, I'm just like no one's gonna want to fuck you yeah ashamed embarrassed yeah it sucks I don't know I can't believe it like I was so naive so stupid I'm never gonna get in that CD this can't happen to me and like here I am yeah I can hurt these yep for the rest of my life yep I mean 67% of the population has it still that much really I'm part of it now (laughs) you're a stat (laughs) happy Wednesday you're a statistic (laughs) Oh, boy. Well, I mean, shit, lady. I don't know what to tell you. It's, you know, this is, I think this could be a warning for you guys, too, that are watching this, the men that are watching this. Like, this is how women are, man. They don't think. So you guys need to wrap it up. Don't fuck everything that moves. Because now she's got the herps. And... You know, she's she's talking about how, like, well, I got to tell whoever I'm messing around with. But what if she doesn't? What if she's d- drunk and just, bleh, you know, or she's just being mean and just doesn't tell anybody? That can happen. She might start becoming really bitter and nasty and just not telling guys and blaming guys for it. And now she's going to give it to guys because she's, you know, vindictive. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe not. But you you can never tell, and you can never be too careful. So, guys, take this uh, take this as a lesson. Wrap it up every fucking time. Wrap it up every fucking time. All right. Don't believe women if they say they're clean or they think they're clean. No. All right. Let me know what you think. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Appreciate it. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. See ya.